Hey guys, good morning. It's about 11.20. We've all had a kind of late start to the day. <laughs> Camera hog. Hashtag. We're both wearing our new robes. <laughs> Me and <laughs> Those are actually from Nin. So I told you guys Santa, happy two days after Christmas, by the way. I told you Santa comes like the day of Christmas. And then uh, this year, Christmas day, night, when we were at my brother's, we um, actually opened up gifts from the family. So there's one gift from each person and the robes were from my aunt. So that was super sweet. But we were just chilling. Uh, Maddie was supposed to go to school today, but I told you guys last night she started throwing up on the way home from dinner, so I didn't want to risk taking her to school because if I had taken her to school and she threw up, she would have to stay out today and tomorrow. So that means she would have only gone Thursday and Friday and I would have had to pay for a whole week. So I wasn't going to do that. Now I may ask them if I can pay daily, because if I pay daily the rest of the week, she can go. And I feel bad because Anderson goes to the same school as she does, and I know they enjoy each other's company, but I just couldn't risk her throwing up. So she's on the brat diet, and we are going to be getting some Pedialyte for her to keep her hydrated. Um, she had a good night, though. She didn't throw up or anything at night, but she didn't eat hardly anything yesterday. I would almost rather her have diarrhea. At least that's a little more controllable than vomit, uh, but... Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm glad everything's okay. Our house is in disarray, just like it was yesterday. There's stuff everywhere. Adam! Good morning! Adam! Adam! Not interested in saying hello right now. Uh, Andres is off again today. We were going to go to the movies originally. That's what we had planned before Maddie started throwing up. She can't have popcorn. There's no way. That would just make her so sick. So, um... I really don't know what we're going to do. I wanted to go to Bath and Body Works and my annual sale is going on, but I don't know if that's gonna happen either. Hey, there's no fighting, no fighting. There's 35 toys laying on the floor. So we really desperately need to clean and fold laundry. We have stuff all over this house, all over, like Christmas clothes and laundry that was just clean in general. The house is disgustingly cluttered. Not even dirty, it's not physically dirty, it's cluttered. And that's almost worse. Like at least when it's dirty, you know and can see what you need. When it's cluttered, it's like you just have to start one place and kind of move and work, work your way around the house. So I think that's what we're going to do today in hopes that Maddie's not vomiting later. We'll see. Maddie, you're in your H. Hey, show me Maddie. Mm, that's like an upside down A. Try again. Good job. And Oh, that's a beautiful H. Good job, that's Maddie. That's because of the big line. It's super straight. Mm -hmm. yes. So we're coloring Frozen with her new Frozen colors. Emmy's having a little bit of brunch. Lunch. It's a brunch. Brunch, yeah. Breakfast, lunch. But it's not food lunch time. It's 12.15. Maddie had a banana because that's all she's getting. Yes. And that's what we're doing. That's what our afternoon looks like. Maddie, did you end up getting a purse for Christmas? Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> Check the playroom. Who got you that purse? Um, Bia. Yeah, not Santa, right? Santa brought the other presents. Macy and Bia. Uh -huh. Because I wanted a purse. And Macy's grandma. Okay, let me see. Put it, put it on you. Let me look at it. Okay, Sissy will help you. Everyone wanted to know. Say no, thank you, Sissy. Oh, she got it. Everyone wanted to know if you got a purse. Let me see. Woo! That's a beautiful purse, Mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this cutting toy here, Maddie's been playing with, the, playing with it for the last like 30 minutes. 
I mean, no, no, I'm gonna open it up in the I'm just hitting the food box for me. I got the knife too because I just wanted to unpack it. And guys, I'm gonna have my, some white puss because I wanted a puss. Then we should buy the food. And we can just and Macy's and Grandma because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the doll out yet, Mama? I'm almost. I don't know if I showed you guys the ornaments that I got. This one is Autumn's. Focus, focus. So it says Autumn Rose. It has her birthday. And it says Baby's First Christmas. That was the one that uh, Maddie got. I actually like Autumn's better. This one's cuter. And then this is our ornament for the year. The Mendoza Family 2016. I thought this one was super cute. I really like that one. And it's on a cookie sheet. Isn't that so cute? And then I got this one because it was on sale. Um, so it says our first home, our new home, 2009. And then it has our address there at the top. So we could always remember it. That's when we got the house, 2009. So I'm uploading what the girls got for Christmas. And I actually did... Uh, what they got in 2013, 14, and 15. So this is the fourth year tradition here. Now for myself, I actually have yet to film my Christmas. Hi guys, I I just opened my new dog, the DC superhero girl. It's the leader. She's the leader that I got. There's a whole ton of more that, um, my actual nephew, I tore it up the box so I don't know what they are, but um, someday I will get them, but for right now I'm going to have this DC superhero girl that I really love. <laughs> Chubby got her that, my brother. Um, Dad, apparently it's a thing, I didn't know. When I have it. Let mommy talk. Thank you, thank you. Back to my vlog. Thank you very much that these children have taken over. Uh, apparently, a DC superhero girl is a thing. Like, they're an actual collector's piece or something. I don't know. Uh, apparently, my brother knew that. No, I didn't. Emmy knew that. No clue. So, she's playing with that. We pretty much open everything. I've mentioned this in the past. Typically, with birthdays, especially like Autumn's birthday is September 1st. Maddie's is October 1st. Emmy's is November 4th. And then we have Christmas. So we have four months in a row where presents are entering our household and I have all girls. So most of the time, I mean now that they're getting older they're starting to get different things but most of the time things that each of them get, all of them can play with. So it's kind of... Okay, my camera, I mean my SD card ran out of memory so I forgot where I even left off. Oh. So for birthdays and Christmas, the last last year and the year before, what I did was once they started to get toys in for their birthday, especially last year, not like these birthdays that just passed, but last year they had a group birthday party and we literally had about 40 gifts sitting in there for the longest time. So typically what I do is I just kind of, because their birthdays and Christmas are so close together, not everybody does it like this, but the way that we do it is they will sit in there and they pick, you know, they open up a couple for their birthday, a couple for Christmas, and then kind of throughout the year, once a week or once every couple of weeks, they will open up another present to play with. That way they don't get sick and tired. They have so many toys, they're overwhelmed and they don't get tired of the same things. Because it's true, children, like if you put away toys that they already have and then you bring them out, again later they will be re-entertained with them because they haven't played with them so long. So that's what we typically would do. This Christmas was a little bit different. Don't get me they, get me wrong. They got a lot. Um, they did. But it was a lot more <clears throat> expensive things. You know, like Maddie's games. Santa spent probably $15 to $20 on each of those games. Emmy's games probably were a little bit cheaper, but her Nintendo DS was like, you know, so it's, they, it, was it was a pricey Christmas for Santa this year. So they got a lot less quantity-wise. And um, they did get other toys like from Chester when we went the other day. And then when we opened up Christmas Day, they got a lot more like toys type things, not the expensive stuff. So 
they did get a ton and they're very blessed and very grateful but compared to previous Christmases where maybe they got you know the same amount of money was spent on them but they had 20 toys or something I don't know I'm just saying 20 toys versus this year they may have had 10 toys same amount of money was spent but they were more expensive so uh, we actually have opened almost everything I really haven't had to have them hold off on a lot because other than their electronic stuff they really didn't have too too much to open like Emmy got some practical things like games for the whole for all of them to play and movies they each like got movies Maddie got dress up stuff which they both can play with and Autumn Autumn's toys most of them because she's only almost four months she can't play with most of them yet so they'll be up in her closet so excuse you you better go pick that up so anyway I just got done uploading uh, what they all got for Christmas if you're interested in that it is up right before this video I don't I don't think we've seen you all day good morning Autumn good morning moo moo you just, like your eyes are glued to the TV hello okay hi Hi! Hi! They're the beautiful Tamaya. They're the beautiful Tamaya. Don't spit the pasty out if you want it, okay? You don't want it? Okay, there we go. So we ended up, well, I always say we, but Andres actually did this because I don't know how to use a power tool to save my life. So the Dyson vacuum that I got for Christmas, I don't even know which one this is. It's the V6 Slim one I don't know which model if I can find it I will link it down below I'd have to ask on the desk because I have no idea but um, it has a mount so that you can mount it somewhere and keep it plugged in so he went ahead and mounted it over here like in our little nook that leads to the girls playroom which is actually a formal dining room just so you know but we use it as a girls playroom and then we have the changer here in the hall which I've showed you guys already and um, uh, we connected it right here. This was really the only logical place to put it. And so I forgot how he told me it comes off. I'm going to have to ask him again. But yeah. I mean it's a great place actually to have it. Because it stays plugged in. So you can use it. The battery does not last very long. I got some people tell me that. Battery does not last very long. But it says specifically in the directions. If you use it. 17 minutes is how long the battery actually gives you. So if you can't do your floor in 17 minutes, I would not recommend this vacuum. However, we only bought it, well, he got it for me for Christmas because we have brown floors in here. And it's easier to clean up with something like this to, than to haul our hefty Dyson from upstairs, downstairs. So 17 minutes is enough to do our whole bottom floor quickly, you know, one of those things. And it works really great. And it gets under, it's slim enough to get under the couch. So he mounted it up on the wall. And that's where she lives, right there in the corner. <laughs> and then you just, so like this has this on it, so you just attach it. I blew it out. It, it's just smoke. So right now I am burning. Let's see if I can turn it without spilling it. I guess I could have walked to the other side of the counter. Tis the season. Bath and Body Works smells so good. Makes the house smell like Christmas. No, ma'am. Your tummy is upset. No, ma'am. Please, we have a boss. Yeah, look, this is literally all that's left. And it's not not necessarily from us eating it. I mean, we did have some, but not from us eating it. We split it up between the family and everything. And this, I mean, you guys saw, if you watch my Christmas Eve vlog, you saw I had two full trays. The other trays under here, I had plates and a container, and that's all that's left. Crazy. Fast forward many hours later, my Hina Bini and I just got to the movies. We dropped off the big girls at my mom's house. She was gracious enough after a long weekend of them to watch them. Um, Autumn's with us because my mom still can't really move her arms so she can't take care of Autumn. But Autumn's not a big deal, she's easy. So we are coming to see the new Star Wars Rogue movie or something, which looked interesting. 
we're at the Casablanca Theater, which is super nice. We got free tickets last time. So remember last time we were here for Moana, Moana, I feel like I said that wrong. We got free tickets um, for the movie being delayed and everything. So we're redeeming those free tickets. Gonna have some popcorn and enjoy a little date night. watching a movie, mama. Okay, so we picked up the girls. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> We're at Walmart. She still got her mask on. Um, she has an Emesis bag just in case. She hasn't thrown up all day, which is good, but just she was running around at my mom's house and it would be my luck. We'd have vomit in the car again, so um, yeah, the movie was really good. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. That is awful that she, the movie just came out and no spoilers, but she does appear in it as a young Princess Leia. If you don't know who Carrie Fisher is, um, she's Princess Leia in Star Wars. Yeah, she passed away, I'm pretty sure today. Well, yesterday for you guys. And, um, it's really sad. That's, I mean, she, she wasn't that old she was 60 I mean it just oh, awful so uh, it was bittersweet kind of seeing the movie it was a good movie but it was one of those things like oh man Mommy, huh which movie did you win? oh did we go see Star Wars what was it mommy it was called Star Wars oh, well, what are the characters in it it's a movie you guys haven't seen before Star Wars Mm -hmm. It's like those little um. People. You've played the video game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Angry Birds Star Wars. So oh yeah, yeah. You did get that one. Yeah. yeah. So I know what Star Wars is like. Yeah, it's kind of same. Only idea. in a piggy style. <laughs> I'm tired. It's almost 11 o'clock. It's way past their bedtime. The movie was. I did not. First off, when we got there, the movie was supposed to be at 7:25. We got there right on time. They said they only had two seats and they were like on opposite sides of the movie theater. So we ended up seeing the 751 and the movie was like, we didn't get out of there and on the road until 1015. So it was a long, it was over two hours and I didn't anticipate that. So I did not anticipate them going to bed this late or else we would have caught an earlier movie. Oh, you're so tired. Why are you and whining? I just knew, no, but I wasn't there. Yeah, I was in 3D, so. Anywho, we stopped at Walmart real quick to get Pedialyte for Maddie because she hasn't really been peeing today. And um, we just want to make sure she stays hydrated, so. I hear that was a long ramble, almost three minutes worth. And the dress is coming back. When we get home, they're brushing their teeth, going to bed. I'm going to bed early for once. I got the vlog up early today. Woo, 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 woo. Y'all want to say good night? Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Adam? Good night. See you tomorrow. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.